so here we're going to show you how to create a family tree. We start with the Choose Type of Collection screen, Choose Family, and a new tree. And here we're asked to create a first person. So today we're going to create John Smith, first name, last name. And you can see there's there are options to create uh, a preview image of John, uh, gender, male is already set, living. We can enter other information, born, email, etc. Uh, but for now, we're just going to enter his name and keep moving forward. So John shows up. I'm going to zoom in a little bit as our first cell. Let's add a spouse to John. We're going to add Sarah, let's say Wilson, female, living. We don't have to do the date yet. We can go back and do that later and save. Now let's add, uh, let's say, John's parents, father, first name Joseph. See, the last name's already populated. If he were deceased, we can add the date, but in our case, he's not. And again, we'll save this for now. Add John's mother. Uh, Susan Bryant, again the maiden name, female living, save, and now we'll add a child for John and Sarah. So it's worth noting that uh, children and siblings are displayed left to right in the order that they were entered. So if you're entering more than one, it's a good idea to enter the oldest child or sibling first and they'll show up furthest left. In this case, let's we'll say they have one. Pamela Smith, and save. Now if we wanted to go back after we have the base family in and add images, we could add and edit information for Sarah. Choose a file. Here's one that would work. We'll open that. We zoom in and drag to find a good picture. That looks good. We'll save that and maybe save one for John, edit information, choose a file, same photo, zoom in, drag to position, and save. Okay, so that's our base tree. We then exit for now, and we're now ready to add content. This is our basic uh, navigation tool. When we click collections, you'll go to the tree and the tree is used to bring up the personal collections of an individual when you scroll over their cell or a family collection. Here the connecting circle between John and Sarah represents their family collection where we would add a chapter which could be for example family vacations and under this we would put photos and videos of maybe their favorite vacations for the family to have for a long time, forever. Uh, uh, tips on navigating about the screen, both in edit form and that, can be found in the top left, navigation rules. Good to understand these and go through them so that you see how to move around. For example, we're now showing John's family tree on his branch. Clicking here would show Sarah's branch. Of course, we haven't added her parents yet, but we see that John has parents here or other family members by these two icons out here to the left. So clicking home will take us back to the home node, which can be changed at any time. So that's a basic understanding of the family tree, and I hope that helps a little bit. We'll move on to now the collection page.